the so-called mini lift, which goes by a lot of names. Uh, some doctors name their particular brand after themselves, and that's fine. Uh, first of all, it's not new. We who have been in this work for decades have seen these types of procedures perhaps under different names come and go. They are predicated upon trying to achieve a certain amount of lift through a less invasive surgical procedure, indeed done through shorter or hidden incisions. The disappointment, which is pretty consistent, I must say, has been that it doesn't last. So the old saying is that a half-hour operation or an operation that lasts, lasts less than four or five hours is probably going to last less than six months. <laughs> and there is a disappointment, and for a very sound reason, unless you free up enough skin and slide it and tighten it up and stitch it, you're not going to get a long-lasting results. There really are no shortcuts here. So basically, the reason why the operation is appealing, yes, short incisions, less swelling, less downtime, perhaps less discomfort. But the flip side is less of a result, and you'll be back a lot sooner than if you had a standard, traditional, well-accepted, well-performed face and often neck lift. Because, by the way, the big victory in face and neck lifts, it's in the neck. It's where the jawline meets the neckline. That's where the age starts to show. So yes, it seems nice to have a little tightening here in the cheeks and perhaps in front of the ears, but that doesn't do anything for the more critical area far away from the operative site. So it sounds good, but the reality is most people are disappointed.